I'm Patrick Baum, Director of Center for Civil Society, University of KwaZulu-Natal in Durban, South Africa. The Durban Group for Climate Justice is an international network. We're uh, trying to link together environmentalists and grassroots community activists and anyone concerned with social justice and uh, our long-term future as a species and our environment because we're worried about a scam carbon trading that's going to replace the work that has to be done to cut uh, emissions and that work is going to involve leaving resources in the ground like all of the resources, uh, mining resources in South Africa and petroleum across Africa and as far north as Norway and everywhere in between taking the lead of the Ecuadorian government which is making a big commitment at the moment to leaving its oil in the ground. The uh, carbon trade distraction uh, in fact sets us back because it transfers as a private property right pollution. Instead of paying to pollute, uh, the polluter pays. In fact, this system that's been set up by the same kind of people who gave us Enron, energy securitization scanning, uh, instead tries to measure how much carbon is offset uh, against uh, continuing pollution, continuing hedonistic behavior. Uh, as if it were some equivalent. In fact, all of the investments that we've been looking at in the clean development mechanism uh, are really uh, quite destructive. So we haven't actually found any uh, uh, gold standard investments. And the only one in South Africa, which is uh, uh, the retrofitting of houses with solar technology, can't even be financed through the clean development mechanism. It, it's a tiny proportion of what's required. So as a result, the clean development mechanism, and indeed the whole carbon trading uh, gimmickry uh, is something that our Durban Group for Climate Justice with major uh, networks involved like Friends of the Earth International and really important think tanks and especially these grassroots groups in South Africa and in India and Brazil and other places say no to carbon trading. We need climate justice instead of trying to make uh, a right to pollute and the big corporations in the North and the South benefiting from playing the game in which they've created uh, private property rights and given themselves huge uh, quotas of, of free pollution rights. We've just really got to make the huge cuts and get the resources to stay, at the same time expanding uh, cheap and clean and minimal free basic electricity to all people. It can be done, but it requires a political will and a, a complete rejection of this commodification of the air called carbon trading.